Hello there, welcome to me. Welcome to a place, a platform where we motivate, where we engage and where we educate. Topics that have to do with our mental health, with our situations, our families, our parents, you know, for our communities. But it's also meant for other people as well. So I want to encourage you as you join me today and for 2022, please subscribe if you haven't done and share with somebody else send your comments, like it. And you know what? I tell you, we're going to have a good journey together. Today, we're talking about new beginnings. So once again, Happy New Year. New beginnings. Welcome to 2022. New beginnings, right? Hmm. Right time to set new year resolutions, set new goals, spiritual goals, work goals, exercise goals, diet goals, and so on. We start the year by saying nothing's going to stop me this year. Hmm. And then like the years passed, we find ourselves relaxing on our goals. We say to ourselves, I beg, I cannot be bothered. I can't come and kill myself like we say from where I come from. Some of us even ask the question, what is new about the new year? After all, we only get back into our usual routine of work, of school runs, of paying the bills, of doing one thing or the other. But it can also mean that we are doing all things in a new way. And that's what I'm talking about. I read a story of one of the greatest musicians in the world, Joshua Bell, who took part in a social experiment organized by the Washington Post about perception, taste, and people's priorities. He played incognito in the DC metro station where he played one of the most intricate pieces ever written with a violin worth $3.5 million. Remember, two days before, he had sold out in a theater in Boston where the seats averaged $100 for each person to listen to him play the same music. And yet, nobody appreciated his music in the DC metro station. Why? If something seems common or not done in the usual setting or is free, we tend not to perceive or appreciate its beauty. My admonition to you today and in 2022 is that you need not feel guilty or be under pressure if you're having difficulty ticking off your resolutions. Start the journey with a new lease of life. Yes. Drawn from the beauty in your environment. Life is short, so let's just strive hard and make the best of it in 2022. Don't stress about, I've got to fulfill this, but I can do what I need to do with life because life is beautiful. Have a good new year.